The Mesa Cam Performance Package has many key features. Let's take a look at the Mazak file management. With the Mesa Cam Performance Package, you can easily navigate to any folder to find your programs. You can also navigate to any drive, any network drive, or subfolder. You can retrieve your files, save them, or store them. Now over to the left is a list of my files, as well as the control type, the date they were created, and the number of the program as well as the program ID. Now here is a list of the machines that we can work with. We can program an M2 all the way up to a matrix mill, including the smart control and we can program a T1 all the way up to a matrix T and also including the smart control. I'm going to go ahead and select a Fusion 640M and this gives me a list of all the programs in my folder that have that same control type Fusion 640M. I'm going to go ahead and select this file and I'm going to open up the program in the Mazacam editor. Here we have our program opened in the Mazacam editor. As I click with my mouse, you can see that the cursor changes. Now this is a Fusion program, which is up at the top. At the bottom we have our soft keys, and above that we have our prompt. So we can change or en edit anything we like. We can go to Edit, and we can insert a line, we can erase a line. We can copy and paste a line, a whole process unit, a whole shape, or a whole program. You can open another copy of the Mazacam editor and use this copy and paste function from one program to another. You can also create a new Mazatrol program with the editor. Just open the editor and select the control type. Using the Mazacam editor is just like programming at the Mazac machine. By clicking on this icon, we can open up the plot shape function, which will show the image graphically. You can look at it in different views, and I'll go into an isometric view, and you can also look at it from the top, right, or left side, etc. I can also depress the scroll wheel of my mouse to rotate the image dynamically. So I'm going to go back to the top view, and if I click on a shape in the program, you'll see that it instantly shows me that shape. The whole shape is blue, and the geometry generated by the line that I'm on is shown in green. So as I click on different processes, you'll see the same as well. Now the reverse is true. If I click on some geometry, say this hole here, it takes me right to the process and to the actual point in the program so that it is interactive with the program. Now we can display the toolpath by clicking on this icon and now if I select check continue we'll go ahead and display my toolpath for all my tools and processes. There. I can go ahead and I can erase the toolpath and I'm going to go to Info, Object Data, and I'm going to just double check the diameter of one of these holes. I can see that it's a quarter inch in diameter and I can check another one as well. There. So it also gives you some information on how you can get object data information, dimensions on your part. I can go ahead and I can generate a tool sheet 
which has an image of my part and it lists the date and the time and it lists all the tools and actual processes are associated for each. Okay, so we can go ahead and calculate the runtime by going to Program Info and selecting Runtime. And here we have a printout of individual tools and their runtimes. We have Tool 1 and the time, Tool 2, time, and then we can all scroll down to the bottom and we have the total for all tools and the total time. Now you can very easily convert from one control type to another and in the case of we were in the case of the file that we were working with this was a Fusion 640 M program. Say I want to go ahead and convert that to an M32 program and send it out to an M32 machine. I'll very easily just go to change CNC select M32 and you'll see now that it's asking for a file name. I don't want to use the exact same file. I'm going to change it to designate this as an M32 program. I'm going to hit save. And now if I go and search my folder of programs for M32 type programs, you'll see now that here's our program ready to be sent out to the M32 machine. Now I can also convert it, this same program, I can go ahead and I can convert this to the newer type of control, a matrix control. Same way, I can go to change CNC and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select a matrix M and you'll see now that it's giving a file name of the program number and the proper file extension for the matrix. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. So now if I go ahead and I search my folder contents for matrix programs, you'll see that right here is our converted program ready to be sent out to the matrix mill. Communications. What this means is that we can take a Mesa Troll program and we can send it or receive it from any Mazak machine in Mazatrol language. We can also do the same thing with a microdisc, or we can do the same thing with EIA or G code programs. Basically, all it takes is an RS232 cable plugged into the back of the machine and take it to the CNC machine and plug it to the CMT port. In the older versions, you do have a CMT port, but on the newer versions, such as the Matrix, no longer have a CMT port. Then you'll have to use a USB port, or MazaCam can be easily configured to send and receive programs through your network.